Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks and welcome back today to a viewer replay. Today we have Dexus145 and he's playing in his Centurion Action 10. Now before we get into the replay, I'm not going to talk a lot because not about the replay but about things not to do with the replay because to be honest you don't really care but for any of you who might have a smidgen of care, I really am sorry that I haven't been uploading much recently. I was away in Spain and then I had a couple of things going on, so I haven't really felt in the mood. I don't really want to upload and record if I don't feel in the mood, because it's not as good for you guys. And Yeah, whatever. I'm not going to talk about it now. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, today we are watching Dexus play in his Centurion Action 10. He's on the El Haluf map. He spawned north. He's coming up to the position which I was coming the majority of my tanks to be honest, I was going to say in all my medium tanks, but probably quite a lot of heavy tanks as well, some tank destroyers, light tanks, well, light tanks not so much, again, depending on light tanks, but he's coming up to the kind of, the corner of the B2, B3 kind of area to get shots at any medium tanks which go up to where that batch at is, ooh, that was unfortunate that that one bounced. Uh, to try and get into shots um, on any of the medium tanks I've got where the battery is, any heavies that decide they're going to cross um, that little, the gap there, moving up when they're moving up towards the A1 kind of area. And um, yeah, it's, it's a very good position. I highly suggest you take a kit if you're in a medium tank, especially if it's got good depre uh, gun depression and kind of decent turret armor, such as the Century in Action 10, which I should point out is actually getting buffed next patch. I'm not sure of the exact numbers because I haven't actually been on the test server because I don't really like going on the test server. I just like to wait until it's actually in the game. Um, but I know it's definitely getting buffed. And the 10 degrees gun depression on this tank is absolutely lovely as well. I do really, really like the Century in Action 10. I just don't play it enough. It's, it's one of those tanks I've got. How many tanks have I got in my garage? 116, 120? I'm not even really, really sure. Something along those lines. And I don't have enough hours in the day to be able to actually play them all because I <laughs> oh, there's so many tanks that I'd love to love to play so much but obviously the M48 pattern since it's got the um, uh, turret armor buff is absolutely lovely for me I love playing the M48 pattern as you all know um, so I usually if I'm playing a tier 10 medium tank that's kind of like similar to the um, action 10 the leopard the pattern the kind of the gameplay with the 105mm L7 gun or any variation of it. I play generally play the M48 pattern because obviously I love the tank. But I'm not saying that the Century in Action 10 or the Leopard one aren't good tanks. I bloody love both of them. And this is something um, that uh, Dex has shown us here about the Century in Action 10. It has lovely aim time and accuracy. I don't think the aim time is quite as good as the M48 pattern. Um, but the accuracy is definitely better because surprisingly the M48 isn't actually that accurate. Um, ooh, that was an unfortunate shot there. This tank also has 10 degrees of gun depression. I can't remember if I mentioned that already or not, but, you know. Um, and it's got lovely penetration. Because it's a British tank, it's got some really nice, like, re uh, types of rounds that it's got. Penetrating the S1 there, obviously, 105mm gun, 30mm of armour, nice overmatch. Uh, but yeah, because it's a British tank, it's got some nice ammunition. 268mm penetration on the APCR rounds, 330 on the heat, pretty standard there. But then the HE rounds 105 millimeters of penetration, which is obviously quite a lot higher than some of the other similar tanks in this. Like, um, I was gonna say genre of tanks. Is that is that a word? Can you do that? God knows. English is not my best language. I say English is not my best language. English is my only language, but I suck at it. So you know. Um, also, other things about the Centurion Action 10, especially compared to the pattern, it doesn't quite have the same rate of fire. Um, it's not too bad, but it's not quite as good. Unfortunately, there, Dexus does ding off the um, STRV 103O. Obviously, a big difference between the uh, 103O and the S1 is the 103O has 40mm of all round armour, except from the Coppola, which I believe is 15mm. So, if you want to overmatch this uh, that tank, you need to hit the Coppola if you've got less than 100 and, um, 121mm calibre gun. Unless, of course, he's facing the complete wrong way, in which case you can just shoot him in the side or in the rear. Uh, again, I think the side armor is only 30mm. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, I'm trying to think. When I shoot at it, do I... Yeah, I think it's only 30mm. And you can see here, the Action 10's rate of fire. Obviously, if you're in something like a Patton or an STB-1, or more recently, the AMX-30. Uh, 30B, sorry. 
you would absolutely be destroying these guys right now with the rate of fire. This thing's rate of fire, like I said, is not too bad, but it's not the best. You could be putting out damage here a lot quicker. But obviously, that's nothing on Dexus. That's just the tank that he is using. Now. Yeah, you can just see, ta taking this position. Sorry, I just completely forgot what I was saying there. Uh, taking this position on El Haluf is really, really strong. And then, you, pretty much what Dex has done, I've had so many really, really good games doing what he's done. Moving up, you take this area, kill everything here, then you move round and up, and then you can push down and kill all of the heavies like he's just done. Before they can get to you. And, yeah, nice shot into the Egg Tiger. Again, this thing has quite good... Um, firing on the move capabilities, obviously being a tier 10 medium tank you'd kind of expect that but even if you're not firing on the move aim time and accuracy is good enough that it's absolutely delightful he fires on the move there unfortunately bounces off the ag tiger but the ag tiger puts one into him but he's managed to keep his um, hit points quite well this game puts one into the ag tiger picks up his 6th kill of the game finishes him off and then all that is left is the strv 103b and this time being in close range he aims for the Kapola Here's the Kapola, the STRV hits him again. And Boom! Second shot into the Kapola. It's always it's it's difficult with those uh, Swedish medium uh, medium tanks, tank destroyers. Because yes, obviously you know where to shoot the Kapola, you know where to shoot, and the Centurion Action 10 is a very, very accurate tank. But I still have real difficulty in penetrating those cupolas just because if they are really small and if it goes a tiny bit too high or a tiny bit too low you either miss or you or you bounce but then it's crazy as soon as you use like 122 millimeter guns so say this tank 268 millimeters of penetration on APCR rounds from a 105 L7 massive amount of penetrating power and then you you fire at something at it let's have a look in this game like I oh, know, even if you were using the stock gun on the IS-3, so 175mm of penetration, one of the D25T guns, but you can penetrate that guy's lower plate easily. It doesn't make sense to me, or oh, obviously it doesn't make sense, but it it kind of feels a bit a bit cheeky sometimes. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's all she wrote. Dex picked up 7 kills there, 8,265 damage. Uh, I'm not going to go into the post-game stats, this is just a game... Um, to show you guys, uh, really, really well played by Dexas. He sent it in to me. If you guys have any replays that you want to send in to me, my email should be in the description of any of my videos, not just this one. Um, so yes, yeah, feel free to send them in. I'm always on the lookout for replays, good replays especially. Um, and yeah, um, like I said before, guys, sorry I haven't uploaded much recently, but I've had other things on my mind and I've been away and stuff, so. It has been a bit difficult. Hopefully I should be back now. I should be um, more regularly uploading. Um, I The next video that is coming out will be a tank request series. So um, make sure you go back onto the last tank request series video if you haven't watched it already. Um, and make sure you vote on what tank you want me to play next. And I'm going to be choosing that tank in a couple of days time. Um, so make sure you get any last votes in on that. And yeah, other than that, thank you all so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, please give the video a like. If you're new to the channel, like a lot of you have been recently, and I really appreciate it, even though I haven't been uploading, please consider subscribing. And other than that, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.